Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn, and we are Reaction Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon Slayer. And a quick reminder guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a dime, it helps us go full time. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Thanks so much for the support guys, now what's on the menu for today Glacier? We're back at you with some more Avatar, The Last Airbender, Book 2, Episode 11, The Desert. The Desert, and yeah, I'm nervous because I feel like this is a continuation of the last episode, so I guess the main question is where the fuck is Appa and is he still alive? I hope so because he's my best friend and I don't want anything bad to happen. We know where he's at, he's in the place where fuck with, fuck with it and find out. That's where he's at. Yeah, whatever, they're gonna find out, they're gonna get that <laughs> tail whip and all of them are just gonna get splattered in one single blow, but... I, 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 was, I was going on uh, Twitter the other day and I guess they do have their own little Twitter page and you're like, Ember and Glacier, all these threats about us doing the Appa, we're busy trying to come up with a menu how to cook Appa stew. Let's see if they're all about that smoke. I already know it's full of shit you don't even know how to set up a Twitter account, but I'm just hoping for the best. Again, if MoMA is as powerful as you say he is, this is now the time to prove it. Pull up and save your best friend. He saved your ass. Then again, I'm him. thinking now he might not. Because you, Appa ditched him in the swamp. Ran. And he came back for him, did he not? Yeah, when he had the whole squad. So now Momo has the squad, we'll see. Yeah, we'll, I, won't we'll blame see. I won't blame him. If you don't save him, I don't I blame will you. blame you. His blood is on your hands, Momo. But other than that, <laughs> obviously that's the main goal of this one. I don't know what else to expect, but that's all I want to see. Apple comes out alive. I'm a happy camper and I'm ready, Glacier. You ready? Yep, and I'm also ready. Hopefully we can get more Zuko and Iroh in this episode. I prefer, I don't really care about Azula. I don't want to see her even though she's a compelling character. She's on like my hate list for attempted murder on Iroh. But with that being said, I'm ready. Yep, absolutely guys. We need some more Zuko and Iroh. But with that being said, as usual guys, take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. The impressions do lead to more views. And as usual, guys, you can catch a full length watch along in the next two episodes. That'll be episode 13 and 14 tomorrow on our Patreon. With that being said, let's fucking go. How could you let them take off? Are you saving us? You you're saving your ass. Thinking you guys were still inside and you couldn't come to get us. I couldn't. Oh, stop it, Aang. You just didn't care. You never Aang, stop. Like God. Aang, Chill. Stop it. She saved our lives. She also taught yeah. you earth bending. Yeah. I'm going after Abba. God, why are you going to this dark path? Damn, I mean, that's his best friend. I get it, but... I think if we take out the giant owl, he'll give us a ride? No, you're on a shit list. You take out the giant owl? <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, Sokka's thinking, though. Maybe we should make camp. Don't stop just for me. Oh. I'm dying. No. Maybe they'll find out, but... What now? Oh, no. oh shit, Fire Nation. God. Damn, it looks like an evil Ira. Poor old monkey. What a pleasant surprise. Colonel Monkey? If you're surprised we're here, then the Dragon of the West has lost a few steps. Shit. That's what they call you, Iroh, the Dragon of the West? I like that shit, Holmes. Each one is a different kind of weapon specialist. They I saw a dragon sword. A capable singing group. We're not here to give uh. a concert. We're here to apprehend fugitives. Didn't you try to get your ass whooped by Aang a couple episodes ago? Round him up! Oh, you're about to get that smoke. Whoa. See ya, yeah. bitch. Damn, I'm running out to use any fire techniques. Fuck off. Fuck off. Y'all can't, can't beat anybody right now. Damn, yeah, it's crazy is the their animal bird thing, it's not even running away. Yeah, it's, it's like, like standing on its ground, so like, I'm fucking gonna find out. Oh shit. Woo! Let's go, no. Zuko. Got his confidence back. We're gonna take your rhino and we're gonna take the bird. Thanks. That's Bye. Bye. Oh yeah, there's water and cactus. Sokka, wait! You shouldn't be eating strange plants. Is it poisonous? Mm. Mom was like, I don't no, care. Like, no, yeah. There's water trapped inside these. Oh, oh no. no! Oh shit! Oh no! God, you just drink acid. Cactus juice. It'll quench you. Oh no! Momo's gonna be fucking me worse. Yeah, what is Momo gonna see? Because Momo's all up in it. <laughs> oh no, Momo! Oh no, Momo! You're taking the biggest L right now. <laughs> God, he just knocked himself out. Momo, look at him, he's so sleepy. Go, it's like fear and loathing in the desert. No. No. Shay's gonna get his yeah. avatar state. I'm wondering, oh, you're right. Damn, mushroom cloud. What is that? Damn, look at Momo's eyes. I'm fucked up right now. Mushroom. Gosh, Momo. Oh, no. Well, the good thing that they're both together. Yeah, y'all can trip on together. At least it's a good trip for them. I don't know, Momo's probably like, I'm freaking out! Did they give you any indication? <gasps> oh, These no. monsters. They went oh, in the God. desert. Too bad there's almost no chance they survived. Mm, that's okay, because she's wanted dead or alive. Fuck off. Her dad wouldn't say dead or alive. Fire Nation wanted posters. Damn, Blue Spirit, Aang, everybody. <gasps> so 
Oh no! Small ass world. Fuck. Like, oh, we'll get money one way or another. Get the fuck out of here. Good, get your ass wood. Convenient for you guys? Fuck you. Good, I want you to have the smoke. I know it's hard for you right now, but we need to focus on getting out of here. What's the difference? God. We won't survive without Appa. We all know it. Wow. And they've been a whole day. Any ideas how to find Bossing Say? Why don't we ask the circle birds? Oh my god. Like, we're useless right now. What is Momo's team? Momo's just out chilling with them too. He's trying not to die. That's his main MO. <laughs> we're getting out of this desert and we're gonna do it together. Guitar is coming through right now. Get up. Yeah, she's gotta take the lead. Hold hands. We can do this. We have to. Yeah, get that pouty face off your face, Aang. Aang's like, I can't, man. I lost my best friend. Yeah, they're probably waiting Wait, on you guys to die. Real? They're like vulture wasps or some shit. Did the guitar see him then? Cause uh, yeah, like probably see, they die. They're like, oh, lay lunch. Everyone can have a little drink. What about you, Katara? I know. Oh, oh my God, Momo! You killed us all. All right. Good job, Momo. He just made more water of the sand. No, obviously Katara was able to save it. No, but we can find out which way Bossing Say is. Just try to get some sleep. Damn, Katara's coming through this episode though. Yeah, because everybody else is in their own little funk. Let's take them now. Or watch your back. This is full of desperate characters. We might have to fight them all just to keep our prize. Patience. Not sure you listen to his ass. Yeah, both of you are about to get your ass for. Zuko would probably take both of you by himself. He didn't probably get a friend out of respect. Yeah. Maybe he'll get some food and. Yeah, Zuko's watching you. Huh? Yeah, learn some things here, Zuko. A draw? Bam. Welcome, brother. The White Lotus opens wide to those who know her secrets. See all that practice for this moment. Always tried to tell you that Pi Show is more than just a game. It's like Chinese checkers almost. Oh, hey. I'm not waiting all night for these geezers to finish yapping. All right, all the smoke. All right, you fine. got it. All right. You are wanted criminals with a giant bounty on your heads. I thought you said you would help. You think you're going to capture them and collect all that gold? Gold? Damn. See, this is what Master Yu didn't want. Everybody wants it. Yep. Damn, but this guy's nasty with it. I remember. Yeah, I should too. I mean, they're both pretty clean with it. Now they can get out of there. Bye. Bye. Oh shit! It's a cloud. Damn, it's like it's just a cloud. A cloud has water in it. Here, fly up and bend the water from that cloud into my pouch. Ah, so having an attitude. Gosh. Wow, there's hardly any in here. I'm sorry, okay? Right. It's a desert cloud. I did all I could. Jeez. What are you doing? Hey, you're kind of pissing me off this episode. To keep everyone together. Yeah. I think she's got patience. I'm trying to be understanding. You just lost. I, mean, I get it. They're stranded. He lost his best friend, but he's. Yeah, I haven't slept. Yeah, have some respect for him. This just shows what you would do if I was missing. You would just sit there and be an ass. You wouldn't be an asshole. I, I wouldn't be an, an asshole, asshole exactly. You know, you should be. Yeah. You I'll make sure I'm like. Yeah, actually, guys, he's fine. He's buried. It. Good riddance. No good riddance. You give me all your water. That's what friends do. Like, where's where was that Amber? I don't know. Who gives a fuck? We'll find him. We find him. You give a fuck. That's the answer to the question. <laughs> and look, it's got some kind of compass on it. Ang, you can bend a breeze so we can sail it. We're gonna make it. <laughs> oh, like, <I'm> <laughs> very moment. They're still tripping. I was like, oh, help me. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. That shit lasts that long. Uh, I mean, I know it's gonna last a moment. He was like balls deep in that juice, and he's little. To welcome such a high-ranking member of the Order of the White Lotus, you must know so many secrets. Damn, it's like a fraternity, like a brotherhood. Who knocks at the garden gate? One who has eaten the fruit and tasted its mysteries. Ole. Dang. I'm afraid it's members only. Wait out here. Sorry, you understand when you're older. Damn it. Moral of the story, learn some pie chow. That's what the compass is pointing to. That giant rock. Shit. It must be the magnetic center of the desert. Maybe those desert pirates are there. Yes! Let's go! There you go, Nash, you get a better view. Find some water there. Yeah. Maybe we can find some sand bender. Yeah, he's about to kill, go for kill shots, bro. Yeah, he's got like this little Anakin attitude right now. Good, I want him to have that smoke. He can kill, he'll kill anyone that finds that has Appa. You were hoping almost high ass doesn't get caught in the crosshairs. I think my head is starting to clear out the camera. Maybe Appa's down here, bro. Oh my god. Have I mean, you learned your oh. lesson? No, they're both high. Girl, like a big ass bug. Maybe one of those big ass wasps that was hovering. Oh, that honey? Yeah, I mean, it's like a hive. Yep. Oh no, that's terrifying. Oh. I'd be so scared. I haven't been stung at all in my life. I've been trying, I've been ducking and dodging stings all the time. Like, we're big enough to eat your ass. Ah, there's nothing there. Oh my god. 
A little hungover. We have to get out of here. Mom was, yeah, Mom was useless. I already know that much. Oh, uh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Mom, he's like, I can't blame Mom. He's high as fuck right now. Oh, nice. Go up. Yeah, maybe they'll take him to Appa on accident. That thing probably... There we go. You gotta go help Mom. Ah, I'm better. At least his eyes aren't dilated. Damn. Damn! Long range. Kill shot, too. Damn, he's not fucking around. <gasps> no shit. Him. There they are. Where's Zappa? I'm only gonna oh, ask him. Ang's, yeah, Aang's gonna give him big smoke. Everything is taken care of. We're heading to Ba Sing Sing. Oh, shit, it's a meeting ground. Everybody's gonna meet there. Why yeah. would we go to the Earth Kingdom capital? We can hide in plain sight there. I recognize the son's voice. Oh, shit. He's the one that stole Appa. Oh, oh no. Where is he? What did you do to him? God. They're lying. They're the thieves. Oh, somebody's lying. Ah! Ooh, oh, damn. Jump. Where is my bison? Ooh, I yeah. never seen this map before. Yeah. Let's go, Aang. No, no mercy. Did you do? Had to put a muzzle on him. You muzzled? Oh no. Oh, oh no. shit! I, oh no, you don't want this at all. I'm sorry. I didn't know it belonged to the Avatar. Tell me where. Oh! Ooh. I traded him. He's probably in Bossing Say by now. They were gonna sell him there. Wow, we gotta go there anyway. Calm down, Aang. Just get out of here. Run! He's like, I'm so pissed right now. Yeah, Aang. Damn, Aang, you need to chill the fuck out. No, he heard him and they sold him. Once he's gone here, he's out of it. Yeah, once he reaches here, he's like, shit. She's like the Black Widow to his Hulk. That's a powerful scene right there. Damn, the music and everything. Yeah. Well, at least we know where he's at. Well, at least we know where he's at, Aang. Shit, so you end the episode? Shit. These episodes are picking up. Shit. All right, the desert. Glacier, what did you think? Oh, well, it's insane, like, seeing Aang go to that power level again. Like, that was a powerful scene right there. Like, that last scene was really powerful, like, when Tara grabbed Aang and they hugged and they were crying and the music. And I was like, damn, it like, yeah. felt like the power of their... It felt like the power of their connection. And we haven't seen that since he found Kyoto's body. That's where she, like, he went all Avatar State and she had to calm him down. Yep, she's always there to be like, and she took a lot of like, you know, she took a big pill to swallow because Aang was not having anybody's shit. But he was kind of going off on everybody, blaming everybody for Alpha disappearing. Yeah, but tough. I was like, it's not Tuff's fault, bro. Tough, tough as anything was trying. Like she was like, I'm trying to save your ass from the so the library doesn't sink, and Alpha got caught. Because like, I mean, top, if it, it, Tuff didn't do that. Alpha still would have been gone, and you guys would have still been done because she couldn't really grab the sand anyways. Yeah, she's like, sand is kind of like a weakness for me because I can't get a, a real vision of what's going on. So it's like, but I get it. Aang is just kind of like, he's a kid still. So he's just yeah. having a temper tantrum. He's taking on everybody. And, but he's kind of, he was like that the whole episode. Even when the Katara asked him well, to get the water out of the clouds, he was given an attitude. Right? I guess that hope, because he had hope that, oh, it's Apple. I and mean, on top of that, no sleep, dehydrated. And then... I mean, Katara definitely has the patience to kind of just like take it on the chin, and just like, okay, Apple, or obviously Aang is upset, I'll just let him be. But it's like, at the same time, it's like, he was getting to a point where it's like, damn, man, if you were hanging out with anybody that, had, that wasn't Katara, they would have definitely gone off on your ass by now. He's like, what are you talking about? I went off on everybody, they didn't do nothing. Exactly, because they know you're the Avatar, and obviously you have friends that care about you. Because if you were somebody who's a stranger, they would have gave you some act right. Obviously, they would probably got their ass whooped, but um, it's the principle. <laughs> But anyway, meanwhile, you, know, you saw what happened. They try to act right. What did I do to that wasp? Dead now, buried in the city. So I'm saying, but that's that's dangerous because it's like you can't control the anger when you get in the avatar state. Especially, you're gonna end up turning that anger on the wrong person. You're gonna kill one or, of your friends. Like I said, remember they're the most vulnerable at the avatar state at the same time. Exactly, they're... and that's even more dangerous because someone kills you in the avatar state. That's the end of the avatar period. So yeah. it's like, meanwhile, you have Sokka and Momo decided to drink some of the cactus juice and go on this whole trip. It's like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, except for it's Fear and Loathing in the middle of the fucking desert. And <laughs> yeah. I feel really bad for Momo. He's like eating OD on that shit because he's Maybe way he too did. small to be drinking that much cactus juice. Yeah, he was high as fuck. The uh, one scene where they're like looking at the mushroom cloud and Momo's eyes are like all dilated. Both of them. It looked like they were on like Molly or some shit. But I mean, at least they had each other. And again, at least Katara was patient enough to kind of because she pretty much had to babysit them because they were pretty much useless, especially when they're fighting those the wasp vultures. They weren't doing shit. Like Sokka's literally swinging at nothing. And Momo, I don't remember the fuck Momo. Oh yeah, he was getting captured. captured. Yeah, captured. He's like, and, and he might even know he was getting captured. He was like, yeah. I mean, he was like kind of coming off of it, but they were still kind of hungover from that. And then yeah, Sakura for some reason, as soon as he comes off, he decides to eat some random ass slimes. Probably wasp shit for all he knows. He probably, I think he was still high. He was like, oh, what's this? 
And even Mo ate it too. Mo's like, oh, this is like shit. Yeah, Mo, we got to lead by example. Don't it's just gross. It's probably like a combination of honey and vulture food. Right, yeah, it's probably the vulture Vul- shit. Vulture like, shit, well, vulture honey. Anyway, it's probably gross, whatever it was. <laughs> it said it tastes like rotten penguin meat or some shit, but. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm like nervous because I feel like this was like a huge build up to what's coming when, whenever everyone's going to what's it, Boss, Boss Hastings. Yeah, everybody's going to Boss Hastings. Yeah, going there. And you got Ira going there now. You got Zuko fleeing there. But you got those earthbenders that are out. Yeah, yeah. Zen Fu and you got Master Yu. And they're obviously at this point, they don't even care. They just want a bounty. They don't care who they capture. Obviously, they were sent by uh, Toph's daughter. I mean, they were sent by Toph's father to go after Toph. But at the end of the day, they, there's a bounty on Aang, there's a bounty on Zuko, there's a bounty on Iroh. So it's like, oh, at the end point, at the end of the day, like, we're just trying to get this money, homie. Yeah, yeah and Zen Vu kind of reminds me of General Admiral Zhao. Like, he's like impatient. Like, no, we gotta do this now, we gotta capture him now, we gotta get him now. Like, oh, like, keep that same energy because that's the type of energy. Just like, that, ask General Zhao when you get in the spirit world because he got drowned with his fucking ass. Yeah, I mean, both of y'all don't want this one. I mean, you guys are powerful earthbenders, I'll give you that. Respect to you on that point. But you're eventually gonna pull up on somebody that's not gonna pull up any of that bullshit, aka Azula. Because we're going to Boston say, I have a feeling Azula, we haven't seen her in like three or four episodes, she might pull up, and you do not want that Azula. So we're like, oh, actually, we're, we're aligned. We need to get our daughter, and we'll help you catch up to our So don't worry. I don't know what Ember's talking about. We're going to be clean ass homies. But guess what? You don't want to pull up on Toph because she already whooped your whole squad. Yeah, Toph will whoop your ass too. But again, you really, you make it sound like you're going to be Azula's best friend. She's going to trust you. She don't give a fuck about you. She's going to be like, oh, thanks for finding out. Anyway, anyways, that lightning's out, you're dead. <laughs> lightning's out, you're dead. So all I'm saying is tread lightly. No, that's the scary thing. The Zula's gonna be there too if she's going there. Like we haven't seen her in a couple like episodes. Yeah, like last that's three. What I'm saying it's like that's scary because you know she's plying. She's definitely been plying. She's not just sitting around twiddling her thumbs. But I like how Iroh's pie show skills. This whole season, both books, he's yeah. been playing pie show, and obviously it's like it's starting to pay out because he got in with pretty much like this pie show brotherhood because he's the grandmaster, and they gave him what he needed and the, and the guidance to get to Bossing City to get what they need. So. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, like, I feel like Ira at some point is gonna have a, a flashback. He's gonna have like PTSD about what happened to his son because his son died in Boston. Yeah, we got, did we get a, I, I forgot, we got a flashback I the last episode. episode. Yeah, I forgot to touch on that. That was sad because it was. It was like two episodes ago. Yeah, right? two episodes ago. We forgot to touch on that. That's the only thing. But I remember that scene. I got confused. I thought it was Zuko and his dad, but I was like, that kind of looks like a really young Iroh. It, it, I looked like Iroh, and I was like, eh, I was like maybe it's because they're related, but yeah, then it made more sense. I was like, are they going to show, they're showing the face now with a flashback? I feel like they're building Lord of those eyes, they wouldn't show his face. And plus, face. I was in there to understand that I thought maybe Iroh was maybe dead or alive. I wasn't sure, so I didn't think they would go right to him. And I wouldn't want to see a flashback like that anyways. I don't want to see a flashback where his dad was good. His dad... I have it in my mind is that piece of shit. Yeah, that was a piece. And I, yeah, that would have been a fake memory because I don't think his dad ever would have been that happy because like, of Zuko. Yeah, no. At any time. So, so yeah, I mean, other than that, yeah, but I feel like at some point Arrow's going to have flashbacks and maybe we'll find out what actually happened to his son through the flashback. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, it was a great episode. You know, a lot of definitely like a little bit darker tone of this one because you feel like Aang is on the verge of fucking snapping. Like, good thing the, the kid, the one that was a sand pirate, his dad was there to pretty much like kind of get him like, like calm calm everything down and get his son out of there because his son was pretty much on death row at that point. Yeah. So but other than that, I can't wait to get to this uh, next episode because I guess at this point we're going to be in Boston and say, and I feel like this last like two or three episodes have been kind of building up to this with Final Thoughts Glacier. Yeah, Final Thoughts, like I said, this book, book two has been nothing short of amazing. Book one was amazing too, but like with all the buildup that's been going on, the stakes get higher and higher. And now, like I said, it's all going to be coming to a head when we get to the city. Dragon certified. Absolutely. And I feel like at this point, we're way past the halfway point. So we only have like, what, like six more episodes, seven more episodes after this, and we're done with book two. So I, I love that. Yeah, this has definitely been superior to book one, but book one was great. But book two is definitely better. And can't wait to see what happens next. Dragon certified. Fucking hit it. There you have it, guys. Another one in the books. The real question is what you guys think in there in Drag Swan Land. Honestly, do you think that um, Zin Fu and Master Yu really want any more of that smoke? I mean, obviously you guys know what happens, so don't don't spoil anything, but I feel like they're gonna run into somebody who's not to be fucked with. They're gonna, you know, get there and fuck around and find out. And other than that, like, how did you feel when you saw how angry Aang was throughout this episode? Is this gonna be an ongoing issue for him? Is this something he's gotta get under control before he hurts somebody? Let us know. Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad, and remember, it doesn't matter if you're up the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad, at the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn. And until next time, we'll see you next time. time.